disrespectful deuce news. You deuce? disrespectful. Deuce. What's that? Submitted by Tater Tot. Oh. Hey, give me some of your tots. I love Tater Tots. Malaysian students sparked outrage after pooping in the showers at a popular lodge in Japan. That's so funny. After pooping in. <laughs> they pooped in, in the Japan? shower? In the what? shower. Do they waffle stomp that shit? Hey. Who pooped in the shower? Malaysian, Malaysian students. And the, like they waffle stomped it? I don't know what they did to it. But and they did it in Japan? In Japan. Man, you Why? don't do that shit in Japan. Why? Japan's the cleanest place in the world. Yeah. Why would you do that? You have like a fucking electronic toilet right next to you that probably like sings 32 different songs. Oh, yeah. You in the shower, <laughs> you, you dumbass. Big. Did they mistake the Malaysian for a Chinese? And Malaysians are so respectful. What the fuck? Well, according to this lodge, it's called Vidi Lodge, this uh, guest house in Osaka, they're saying that they've had pretty bad experiences with Malaysians. <gasps> Malaysia. This was like kind of like their last straw, so they ended up banning Malaysians. Ooh, oh damn! They deleted that post, so it seems like they took the ban back. Yeah. So what happened was, there were these three students, Malaysian students. They were visiting Osaka, and they were staying at this guest house, and apparently they they had missed their flight home, and so they needed to buy a new ticket, and so they asked them if they could stay another two nights at the lodge. And so the owner, he was really nice and they were like, yeah, sure, you know, go ahead. But then apparently some shit happened and one thing led to another and these students ended up getting into some sort of altercation with the lodge uh, manager. Staff. Yeah, and they started arguing with each other and then that led to them getting kicked out and right before they left, they pooped in the shower. Oh, oh, I know this. I know I know this story because um, um, I helped you pick the article and I remember reading it because they're actually not Japanese people. Mm -hmm. they're, oh. they're like Indian or something. That own a house out there? That own a lodge okay. in Japan. Okay. Oh. And the reason why they let the Malaysian guy stay like a couple days after is because they're they're both Muslim. So they're like under you know, because we're, we're both Muslim, by each other. we're like brothers yeah. under the same religion. Okay. I'm gonna help you guys out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Cool. So, as a favor, he helped them out, let them stay for two days. But because of that argument or whatever they got happened, they they turned around and took a dump. That's the, so rude. Yeah, yeah. yeah it's because uh, apparently what the reason why they even got into a fight. The no, the reason why they got into a fight is because these these students they ended up using the kitchen or they were cooking past a certain time which is against the rules and then that's when it led to excuse me and then that's when it led to them getting into a verbal altercation which mm. led them to poop in the shower hey it's past 10 p.m but i have jet lag so <laughs> how out of all things why would you settle together on pooping in the shower yeah, I don't know if all of I know, right? Yeah. Where did this discussion come from? You could have set the house on fire. <laughs> you could have fucking graffitied on the like, walls. What are we gonna what are we gonna do here? What are we gonna do? Should we should we burn this place down? Nah, he let us stay for two days. How about this? All three of us take a dump in the tub. Right? That'll show him what's up. Maybe it's super yeah, disrespectful. Is that like a, a thing in Malaysia or Muslims or that is pooping in the shower is like the worst? disrespect you like do to someone? I don't know. <laughs> yeah, but these are the students. And so Well, I mean it's it, it at least they did shit on the bed. Cuz I mean in the in the in the shower you could just rinse it. You just got to you got to sit there like for the longest time breaking oh, down the shit. Little, just grab a little like Gross. like sand shovel just just like a spatula. And then, yeah, and then just fucking rinse that shit out. Oh, just hold the holes there like oh, shh. <laughs> Break up you the pick shit. up dog shit with your hands all the not with just your hands. But you like, love your dogs. Like, your dogs are your children. Sure. I don't want to pick up. I don't want to pick up a human's yeah. dude. But you're like picking it up with your bare hands. Yeah. Pooper scooper. <laughs> That's nasty. And Lysol everything. And you're good to go. Yeah. So that post that I mentioned earlier about them like banning Malaysians. Uh, the translated message read, To all Malaysians who are visiting Japan, shower rooms are only used for taking showers and washing your body. You can't poop in it. Parentheses, don't shit in the shower room. Be polite and give a good picture about Malaysian pe Malaysia and your people. This is the third time this has Jeez. happened in our guest. Okay. Malaysian guests. Oh my god. Maybe their, their service is probably fucked up. 
Like, like they maybe? keep fighting and they're like, okay, I'm gonna give you a poopy. I didn't want to. So <laughs> Malaysian, so there's something about Malaysia where pooping in the shower is probably yeah. the worst insult. Like, Cause there's three, yeah, yeah, three yeah. now? Cause now it's like, come on, like people keep coming to you and, and then you end up with the same, maybe it's something going on or with Or maybe, yeah. maybe it's an inside joke where <laughs> it's, a des it's a destination now where everyone yeah. knows we gotta go there and poop in the yeah. fucking shower. Yeah. They take photos, selfies, did yeah, it. That's it. At the Vini Lounge, <laughs> <laughs> taking a traditional shit in the shower. Fuck, that sucks for those guys that own the place. Oh, I'm man. actually curious what uh, Koreans and mainland Chinese guests did because apparently they are blacklisted from it's this just, You see it, Come it's on, the business. Chinese. It can't be every single one yeah. now. Yeah, every single race. Come yeah. on. If everyone else around you is an asshole, that means you're an asshole. Yeah. You know. So then I just want to know why Indians own hotels everywhere. That's like Vietnamese people with the nail thing. Like, who... Yeah was the Indian that started it. Like, I'm gonna open up a motel here in the middle of the desert where there's no other Indians. I know uh, Vietnamese people, it was, god damn it, I don't remember who it was, but she was a very, she was an American that um, pretty much like uh, connected with the Vietnamese refugees at the time. In and she's like, I'm gonna teach you how to do some fucking nails. Yeah, she's like, you know what, these people have nothing. Like, they just come to this country and they have nothing. She was like a wife of like someone very, um, like a president, not a president, or someone, someone in the government or some shit or another. And um, she was like, she really connected with these people. Like they showed her like their food and stuff. She's like, I gotta teach him something. You teach me egg rolls, I'ma teach you nails. Yeah, so she wanted to help them. So she's like, you know what? Um, there's a nail school or whatever that maybe she had or like she knew someone at the nail school and she brought them there to teach him everything. And that's pretty much how it all started like back during what the war. What about the donut shop in Cambodian? Yeah. Oh, I don't know, they're on their fucking own. I only know my people. Yeah. <laughs> I don't. I don't know uh, if they're Indian. I'm just making this up. But I don't know either. It's yeah. not. They're just. They're just brown. They could be a Pakistani. They're, they're Muslim. Yeah. It could they be. just say under the brotherhood of the Muslims. Yeah. I must help you out, brother. Muslim people, their religion, they're supposed to be very welcoming and and uh, hospitable. Yeah. So maybe it was that, but then. Uh, and then you just poop. That's mean, man. Yeah. Uh, that's when. Net netizens found out about this story and they started saying, especially Malaysians, they're like, oh, you know, we apologize on behalf of all Malaysians. We, we're not all like that. Yeah, and then they were just- like, I personally like, been to Malaysia two times and never saw Dookie in the shower, yeah. ever. <laughs> were, were they all nice? Respect? Is everyone yeah. nice there? Very, very, very nice. Very nice. Oh. I don't wanna go to Malaysia. Very nice. That sounds fun. It is very fun. Everyone's super cool. And we have a lot of fans there, and I'm pretty sure they're not shitting in the shower. No, we love Malaysia. It's a clean there. place. I'm just gonna go over and be like, do I do the traditional po poopy in the shower? <laughs> do I do that here in the hotel? <laughs> the first night or when do I, I Do I take a picture and send it to make sure that you guys know that I did it? <laughs> traditional poop in the shower. Yeah, so then uh, the boys, they started getting a shit ton of um, <laughs> shit. Ton. Shit in the shower ton. Yeah, and so uh, they just got a lot of hate, and so that's when Vidi Lodge, they ended up uploading one of the apologies from one of the boys, and it's like this eight minute long video. And so they were just saying, like, telling other people, like, stop bashing on the boys, we've already forgiven them, we lifted the ban on Malaysians after they apologized, so let's move forward, kind of thing. What did he say? Oh. I made a mistake. I'm not sure, it's in a different I way. should have never took a dump on the shower. <laughs> How do you explain yourself? It was an act of anger. It was just, I I wasn't thinking. It just came moment. out. It wasn't me, it was me. It wasn't yeah, in the spur of the moment, I just decided to take a dump. In the fuck? Like, never in my life have I ever been so pissed at someone that I want to poop in somebody they belong in. Yeah, I wonder what kind yeah. of dookie it was. Was it like a wet dookie? Wet, wet, wet. Or was it like one that just could make a swirl? Or is it like a log? Like what? Or like a dried rabbit pellet? I don't even yeah. have to take a shit in like the heat of the moment like yeah. that. And who, okay, so, <laughs> so the guy that goes first clearly gets a clean shower. How about the second and third? Like, oh, that's disgusting. Poop right next to each other? They, I don't know if all three of them did. Did they synchronize yeah. it? You know, or one by one? Just one person. So the last one that goes in. Yeah, where there's three scoops of poop. Right? And the last guy that goes in, he has to smell the other two poops. You Ooh. know, like who? Like, did they roshan both? And there's like a poop first. harmony in there. Like, oh. <laughs> That's messed up too because uh, not a lot of people know, like, Malaysia or heard of the country and all that stuff. Or even smelled the Malaysian poop before. Yeah. 
<laughs> and so when this news goes out, people are gonna be like, oh, they're the poopy people. They're the shower poopers. They're the shower <laughs> poopy people. <laughs> poopy people. They're the, no, they go to hotels and take a dump in showers. Be careful, those Malaysians in the shower. I know. Don't let them in your showers. Mm -hmm. Give them a room without a shower. Mm -hmm. Bathtubs only. They don't do it in bathtubs, just showers. So are the are the boys getting like beat up and bullied now? Because they're like, hey, poopy. Yeah, you make our country look bad. Yeah, now the rest of us thinks we're shower shitters. <laughs> Shower shitters. That should have been the title. The shower shitters. Shower shitter news. It sounds like a professional team. Malaysian shower shitters. I don't know if someone, if you had a guest come over and they did this in your home, what would you do? Oh, dude, like I, I have their information. You mean like? Are they still in my house? Yeah. Are they still in or uh, like? Ah, they left. Oh, they left. By, was it by accident? I call them back. Yeah, I wouldn't let them stay anymore. I'd call them back. I'd be like, hey, I think you forgot something here. <laughs> Why did you do that? I'd probably ask them because most, most people we let stay in our place were pretty close with them. Yeah. So I, I can't really see that happening. But if they did, I'd probably like immediately text them and like go, Why did you do that? <laughs> so I can remember, you discuss this? My dogs don't even do that, so it's weird. I remember one of my friends back in the day, we were all doing a little bit of ecstasy. Mm -hmm. And, um,. He decided that he needed to go poopy. Mm -hmm. So he he was in the restroom for a long time and we we're just like, dude, like, do you think he got lost and shit? <laughs> Ecstasy poops last a long time though. Yeah, so I was oh, knocking yeah. on the door. Cause it feels awesome. Yeah. <laughs> really? Oh yeah. yeah. yeah Everything dude. feels awesome. He was like, I was like, are you okay? He goes, he was like, yeah, 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 I'm okay. And then I hear like the like he's trying to flush it, and I'm like, okay. And then like some more time comes in, and I'm like, hey, are you sure you're okay? He's like, yeah, uh, uh, no, um, don't get mad, okay? And I'm like, why would I get mad? He's like, I need help. And I'm like, what the fuck? I thought he was like dying and shit. So I got my other friend. I'm like, Robert, come here. I think I think he's in trouble. So like we op uh, he opens up the door, right? Huh? His foot's in it. No, he open. Okay, so. <laughs> So the door, he opens up the door, there's like a centimeter of water all over the floor. Oh, it overflows. Yeah, and there's shit all over oh, my bathroom my floor. God, and gross. he has his pants like hanging on my on my shower thing. So he's bad. just in his underwear with a t-shirt and he has that hanging. That's so sweet. And yeah, and he's he's got like tissue like that and he's picking up dookie, putting oh. it back into the toilet. Oh. Was the water cloudy too? The water kept <laughs> like it was a shit fountain. Oh. So the bowl, the bowl was like overflowing and then you know how like it keeps leaking, right? Yeah. So it just keeps going and we're like, "Oh shit." Yeah. So we're like trying to get the dookie to throw it back oh, in no. the puddle. Oh, yeah. With, with tissue. Oh, so no, yeah. not it's all but we're fucking we're rolling, okay? We're like we're like, oh shit! Oh fuck. Yeah. That's a terrible thing That's to roll like the to. Worst roll ever. Yeah. And we're throwing it back in and all like we're cracking up and he's so embarrassed at the time. He's like, don't get mad! Don't get mad! Don't get mad! And I'm like, how many people are scooping poop? Three people? Two people. Two what a three people together. <laughs> one guy's in the like one guy is a shit but he's in his and in his underwear was like tidy whities oh <laughs> I hope has is he married yet? I don't know. I, I'm not in contact with the mini boy. Go to his wedding and tell that story. I know. But it was the funniest shit ever. Like, oh my God. yeah. I hope and, you washed your hands because you're well, rubbing your eyes right now. <laughs> I think ten years later. Well, 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 what ended up happening was he kept. He had one of those shits. He said that that he had to keep wiping and wiping and wiping. So he kept throwing paper. With the street marks. Yeah. So he filled it up with paper, and by the time he flushed, it got stuck. And then there wasn't that plunger thing. So he tried to put more paper inside. Why? Yeah. Why? Flooded it even more. And then it got to the point where it, it was like uncontrollable and he didn't know what to do he anymore. You have to turn the, oh, every no. toilet has that that water shut off the valve. Oh yeah. That's a trick. I, mean, I he learned. Was, he was he was rolling really hard. It's true. Yeah. So I learned you turn that shit off or if you have like a big poop that got stuck, you go boil some water. Given it's in your house, I'm not gonna explain boiling water at someone else's house. But you go boil some water and you pour hot water in there because it melts the fats in the poops and then it breaks oh. out. No, I mean all I did was take the plunger in and yeah. Yeah, yeah, and it broke it up and flushed itself. Poor guy, I would die of embarrassment, yeah. dude. Especially rolling, fuck, dude. That's a terrible roll. I don't know, but we were <laughs> we were cleaning and laughing like you're a good friend for cleaning, I know, man. I wouldn't I would touch any of that shit. That. Yeah. Hey guys, thanks for watching. 
If you guys enjoyed that episode, please let us know in the comments below and share your thoughts. I liked it so much. Oh, I wish they talked about this and this. Just let us know in the comments. For more videos, click right up here.